Well, for our last sneak, I first asked, have you ever used Photoshop, Rain? Yes, yes I have. Are you in the audience ready for the annual tradition of the mind-blowing Photoshop sneak? Yeah. Well, you've come to the right place. So I don't, I'm not even gonna set this one up. I'm just gonna bring out Yue Wong to show you uh, a, a sneak we have around Photoshop um, that I think will just Can blow your mind. Can I get a free mind. Photoshop out of this? I'll tell, I'll tell you what, if you'll sign one of the Rain uh, Wilson bobbleheads for yep. Teresa Au, who's one of our admins at Adobe, I'll yep. get you a copy of Photoshop. Really? Yes. Sweet. Done. No, done. <laughs> That's Teresa. So with that, let's bring out Yue Hi, Wong Teresa. and um, let's see some cool Photoshop magic. Yue? Yue Wang. Hello everyone, uh, here you see a crappy blurry image that one of my friends took. Uh, his, uh, he's probably drunk that day, uh, like many of you right now. Uh, so he couldn't hold his camera steady when he shot this one. He knew I worked at uh, Adobe, so he sent this one to me to see if I can do something special to remove the blur and restore sharp image. Uh, it turns out he was lucky because we have been working on this problem for a while and we have built a prototype to solve it. Uh, to show it, I'll just load the image into the Photoshop plugin we, we developed. Uh, and you, you can see there are a lot of controls here uh, because it's still an early prototype. Uh, I, to save some time, I just uh, uh, load some predefined parameters which contain only a few numbers. So the first thing to do with this tool is to click the Analyze button, which analyzes how the image was blurred at the first place. Uh, the system then does a heavy lifting under the hood, which uh, involves some intensive computation that I, I won't try to explain here. Uh, the output of this step is something we call a blur kernel, which you will see in a moment. This is a kind of a slow computer. Oh, now here it is. Uh, the, it's essentially a grayscale image showing how the image was blurred. Formally, it's called point spray function but you can also view it as a, a motion trajectory of the camera when the shutter was open. Uh, so next, and next thing to do is to, to use it to restore sharp image. And here it is. So No way. Yes. So no way, that's impossible. Yes. That's two photographs. Nope. So you wait, there's no way you did that. Yes way, you way. No way, no way. No way, you way. You, you. So, yeah, so you can see it's uh, pretty sharp here. Uh, you can see. How does it do, how does it do that? <laughs> how do you do that? Uh, there is an algorithm behind it, so. A what? The computer an algorithm did it. behind I didn't. it. Algorithm? Yeah. Uh, What's an algorithm? Uh, <laughs> we'll talk at Weezer. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, if you look at this small poster, I'm going to switch back to the original, you can see how much improvement we have done on this That's example. Ridiculous. Now, our system not only makes blurry images look better, they can also help recover some important information from the image. So here is a poster image I, I shot using my uh, cell phone camera. Uh, my thought was to record the poster so I can read it at home, but I only found out it's too blurry, so I cannot read anything. So let's see if we can improve this image. Again, I just load the image into the plugin. Uh, for now, I just load some pre-select parameters. Uh, and because this is a relatively large image, I'm not going to use the whole image for analysis, which will take some time on this computer. So I'm just going to uh, uh, select a local region and ask the system to only analyze uh, using this local region. And this is a special case because the image contains text. So we have to tell the system that we're dealing with text region, so the, uh, so the system knows to apply some special treatment. Now, would this be like in the next version of Photoshop, for real? Remember we said sneaks. What? They, they may or may not appear in a future version. We, right. don't, we don't commit to timing for anything in a sneak, but, uh, right. but uh, you we should can definitely see the do this. Kernel here. You and, like it. Uh, sorry. And similarly, we can define another preview window which allows you to preview local uh, result uh, to see if it is good. And here it is. Wow. So you can, so you can see, you can read the phone number. Who's the boss here? Who's in charge of all this? And oh, it was you. 
You two guys, you should do this in the next Photoshop. <laughs> People will really, seriously, I'm just a chump. People will really like this. <laughs> People will love it. Would I pay for it? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't pay for anything anymore. I'm a minor television celebrity, so I get free shit. <laughs> All right, uh, just one more comparison before and after. I have one last quick demo. Uh, so this is Kevin Lynch, our CTO at last year's uh, Max. Uh, we, uh, we found this image online. It's a random internet uh, photo. It's, it, it's bad. So let's see if we can improve it. Uh, uh, because this is a relatively small image, so I'm just going to uh, still, I need to load some parameters. Uh, OK. OK, I'm just going to uh, analyze this image, which should be pretty fast, and restore it. So you can see it's much better. Wow. Uh, this is before. So this is image people are in. Thank you very much. Thank you, you went. Wow. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So every year you get a Photoshop thing that just blows your mind? Uh, we have a history of mind-blowing Photoshop demos at Sneaks. Uh, a couple years ago, you would have seen things like automatically removing um, elements from pictures and seamlessly correcting the background, which actually did ship in Photoshop uh, CS5. So that's an example of something we showed at a sneak that's in shipping software today. Yeah. So yes, exactly. That, that's incredible.